Hello, welcome to this lesson in Mastering 5th Grade Math. Here we'll do some word problems where we're adding together mixed numbers. So let's read the problem, understand what we're asked to do, and then we'll uh, be adding these mixed numbers together to get the answer. A box weighs 6 and 3 eighths pounds, and a bag weighs 2 and 1 eighth pounds. What is the total weight of the box and the bag? So again, you're looking for the keywords. What is the total? When you see something like, what is the total? It means you're adding everything together. We know how much the bag weighs. We know how much the box weighs. Let's go ahead and add them together. So what we have is the box weighs 6 and 3 eighths pounds, and the bag weighs 2 and 1 eighths pounds, right? So we're adding these. Now remember, there's two ways to add mixed numbers. Now we'll just use the easier way here, I think. And when we're adding them, what we'll do is we'll say 6 plus 2 uh, is 8. That's the first part because we add the whole numbers. And then for the second part, we'll have 3 eighths plus 1 eighth. We have a common denominator here, so we just keep that common denominator already. 3 plus 1 would then give us 4. And then in order to simplify 4 eighths, we divide by 4 and divide by 4. And so the final guy here is going to be 4 divided by 4 is 1, 8 divided by 4 is 2. So this is 1 half. So we add the whole numbers together and we get 8. We add the fractions together and we get 1 half. So the final answer here is going to be 8 and 1 half. So the answer is 8 and 1 half pounds. That's the final answer. Okay? Now the next problem says that Jack gets 2, I'm sorry, 4 and uh, 2 sevenths gallons of milk and Jill gets three and a half gallons. How much do they have all together? Again, the key word, all together. How much do they have all together? We have to add these mixed numbers together. So what we'll do is we'll say we have four and two sevenths, that's what Jack has, and we're adding to that what Jill has, which is three and one half. All right, so we wanna add these together. So as we said before, there are a couple ways to do it. We're gonna add the whole numbers together first. So let's do that, four plus three, that's the whole numbers, so seven. So we know we have at least seven gallons. Now we need to add the fractions together. So here what we're going to do is we have two sevenths and we're adding to that one half. Now we need a common denominator, we don't have a common denominator. We look at seven and two, immediately 14 pops in my head. That's the smallest thing I can think of that both of these will divide into. And so basically I take the two sevenths how would I transform that to 14 on the bottom? Multiply by 2, multiply by 2, I will get 4 over 14. All right, now let's go ahead and transform the 1 half. So we have 1 half. How do I transform that to 14 on the bottom? I multiply by 7 and 7. And so on the top, I will have 7. On the bottom, I will have uh, 14. All right, and I'm adding these guys together. So because I'm adding them, I look and I see I have a common denominator of 14. I keep that on the bottom. And then 7 plus 4 is 11. So the answer I get is 11 fourteenths. So when I add the fractional parts together, I get 11 fourteenths. That can't be simplified anymore. When I add the whole numbers, I get 7. So the entire answer is 7 and 11 fourteenths. That is the final answer. And there's nothing else that I can do there. I can't simplify that any further. So word problems is really just a skill where you need to read the problem, understand what the numbers are that are important, understand what you're being asked. When you're adding things, you're looking for things like how many in all, how many all together, um, what did they do combined, what is the total. Words like that mean you're adding things together. So the last question we have is,